How do you assess indicator reliability? The first step in reflective measurement model assessment involves examining how much each indicator's variance is explained by its construct. And this is called indicator reliability. Now to compute an indicator's explained variance, we need to square the indicator loading, which is the bivariate correlation between an indicator and the construct. Now in order to get your indicator reliability, what you need to simply do it is just take the square of your loading. And the loading will obviously tell you how well a particular item is representing the underlying construct. And it is the bivariate correlation between the indicator and the construct. Now as such, the indicator reliability indicates the commonality of the indicator. Now, indicator loadings above 0.708 are recommended since they indicate that the construct explains more than 50% of the indicator's variance, providing an acceptable indicator reliability. Now, researchers frequently obtain weaker indicator reliability that is less than 0.708 for their measurement models in social sciences studies, especially when newly developed scales are used. Now, rather than automatically eliminating your indicators when their loading is less than 0 0.70, researchers should carefully examine the effects of indicator removal on reliability and validity. You just do not go on and remove your indicators because their loading was less than 0 0.70. You assess whether this removal will significantly improve the reliability and validity. Now, if your reliability and validity is already above the required limit, you do not need to go on and delete an indicator because its loading was less than 0.708. Now generally indicators with loading between 0 0.40 and 0 0.708 should be considered for removal only when deleting the indicator leads to an increase in internal consistency reliability or convergent validity above the threshold value. Now if you had reliability and validity below the threshold value and your indicator loading was less than 0 0.70, let's say it was 0 0.40, 0 0.50 or 0.60. Now you only remove it if it significantly improves your reliability and validity above the threshold value. Now another consideration in the decision to whether delete an indicator is the extent to which its removal affects content validity. Now we have to be very cautious if the removal affects content validity, we have to be very considerate about it. Now, as a consequence, indicators with weaker loading are sometimes retained. Now, indicators with very low loadings, less than 0.40, should however always be eliminated mm -hmm. from your measurement model.